In this video, we're going to take the Red Cat Valkyrie, put the new shocks on it from Red Cat, and then take the vehicle out for some minor bashing to see if these shocks are going to hold up. All right, y'all, we have the Red Cat Valkyrie MT in the house. Now, you guys know my recent bass session with this. After taking it to the skate park, I actually broke the shock. So we know that there's been an issue with this. Now, this truck is good for its price at 300 bucks, but it definitely, regardless, whatever needs shock upgrades. So, go and behold, Red Cat to the rescue. I'm glad they're doing this. So I went ahead, since I have both vehicles, the truck and the truggy, I went ahead and just opened the case with Red Cat and you just go to their site online unless you ordered it from them, you probably would have got an email, but you can go to their site online and just fill out a claim form for this and they will send you a set of shocks as long as you got your receipt for it. So I have shocks here you guys see for the Truggy front and rear and then I also have shocks for the Monster Truck. Now they are different sizes so make sure that you specify uh, which ones you have. The Truggy shocks are going to be a little bit shorter than the ones for the Monster Truck. But I'll put a link down below in the description if I can remember so you guys can go over there and fill that form out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get these shocks put on this vehicle, and then we're going to take it back out and we're going to test it again to see if these upgraded shocks will be a lot better. Probably won't go to the skate park because it is a Saturday and everybody's there probably doing all kinds of things and it'll probably be too busy for me to go there. But I do want to go ahead and put these on and take this out and bash it a little bit hard, especially since my body's already kind of busted up. So give me just a minute. I'm going to get these shocks put on here, show you guys the suspension. So I think they use the same oil that was currently in the stock ones. And then we'll get a battery charge up and take this out and run it. All right, y'all, real quick, got these installed. The rear feels a lot better. Um, the front, you're definitely going to have to stiffen these up. So I'm going to stiffen these up, and then we're going to take this out for a quick minor bash. Shocks are not. Had some rain here in Georgia. I forgot how fast this thing is on 4S, but anyway. Definitely has plenty of power. Body's already busted, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna do a couple of flips with it to see if these shocks are gonna hold up. They should, but we're gonna make sure. If I can hit this angle right. Try that again. We did a double. Now I don't know if they, if you buy a model now, do you still have to mail in to get new shocks? Or not? <laughs> do another crazy one. Y'all, this is doing good. I ain't gonna lie. If these shocks don't break, Red Cat probably has a good winner. Let's see if I can get another good one in. Now, I probably just came unplugged, so I'm not trying to do this on purpose. I'm trying to just jump it and land crazy. So I do have an adapter on an adapter. So let me change this out real quick or plug this back in. All right, y'all, we just came unplugged. I have a Dean's to a XT90 on here. I just hadn't had a chance to get around and change this, but. Y'all, this is, um, this is doing good. 
This is doing real good. Ah, and I came unplugged again. I really should have changed that connector out. Now y'all, real quick before I go back in and plug this back up and do a couple more minutes of running, one of the things I talked about with this vehicle originally is these battery straps. They're just not long enough to keep this battery down. So even though I have an adapter and stuff on there, because of these straps being too short, these batteries cannot stay in there. So that's why it's kind of moving around and coming unplugged. So I'm gonna strap this back down and then plug this back up and get it running. But I think that either they need to release um, I don't think they'll do a running update and just send out people for free, but they need to put on their website where you can get some bigger battery straps. But let me go ahead and this is getting warm for some reason. It's not that hot, but it's getting warm down there. I think my fan's not moving. Let me go ahead and plug this back up and get a couple more jumps in. All right, strap back in and plug back in. So part of that coming on plug, of course, is I have that adapter on there, but the main thing is that battery is kind of moving. But I think these shocks are gonna be fine. I mean, for just some general, <laughs> doing Willie's off-road, just some general running with it. This thing has plenty of power. You don't need 6S with this. I know people are going to do it, but you don't need it unless you're going to do a speed run with the Truggy. Test these diffs out too. All right, I'm gonna do this uh, concrete jump and then we'll end this video because I think we're pretty much testing these shocks. I mean, a skateboard is also gonna also always be a little different, but let me go ahead while we got a little time. Yeah, we don't get as much height on this one as we do on the other one, but. One more good one in. Ooh. <laughs> and we came unplugged too. So these are holding up guys. I mean, with the exception of, I'm pretty sure that battery probably moved again. Um, with that, I'll have to get some longer straps on here and change out my connectors and then try to take them to a construction site. But other than that, like I said, with the revision of the shocks, this is doing really good. So, so far, so good. So I'll take this back out to the construction site maybe tomorrow, next couple of days, and then we'll really take it through some bashing. I'll put some different straps on and I'll let you guys know what straps I'm putting on. Probably gonna, I have some armor battery straps which are always really long. So I'll change out the battery straps, change out the connectors, and then I may touch up on the shocks a little bit, I don't know, but if you guys wanna see a build video on that, I'm gonna try to start getting into that more because you guys wanna see it. Put it down in the comments and I'll start doing kind of a build video. And then there's gonna be other body options too that I'm gonna put on here at some point in time. But I'll get into that in the later times or whatever. But if you guys wanna see all that in the coming future, put that down in the comments and let me know. So, so far, so good. Good job, Red Cat, especially with getting the shocks out came within about a week or so, I think about four or five days. Uh, so if you guys have one, fill out the form, send me your information, they'll send it right over to you. So this is a winner. This is definitely a winner. So if they can make this into like an on-road platform or do something like that, I think they'll have a really good truck. But anyway, let me quit my yapping and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, I appreciate you watching. And it's thermode. <laughs>